my name is Tanya Bergqvist and I have a PhD in mathematics, so I'm a mathematician and uh, I'm also a blogger and I write about the Swedish gender madness. I will devote this documentary in part to my grandmother that passed away two years ago because she loved Russia and she's in heaven now, but mm -hmm. she would want me to do this. That's why I was thinking about yesterday. Am I doing the right thing? Should I do this? Should I expose the gender madness mm -hmm. or not? But my grandmother would want me to do this. I eat sugar just to get my brain function. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the feminist party that wants to come into the parliament. Can I ask you in English? I'm Swedish. Uh, absolutely. But fine. yeah, but uh, we have um, we're doing a documentary about the gender issue in Sweden, and uh, of course I know that you're gender aware. I, and I hope so. we, yes. we are for equality between men and women, mm -hmm. but in my opinion, it has gone too far, the gender thing. And um, for example, in the educational system, they say that we have to deconstruct masculinity in order to maybe raise the results of the boys. And uh, um, even if we don't talk about deconstructing masculinity because that's yeah. a very academic term. Yeah, but how can you do that in practice? That's yeah, what confuses I, me. How can yeah, you yeah. deconstruct masculinity I mean, we, with we, children? We, we, it's we, impossible. We can, we, can offer, we can show them and we can offer them different mm. ways to be a, yeah. to be a man. We, Men create war, that's what you say? Yeah. And women don't. No, yeah. So you don't think that women that come to power will be... I mean, I because in Sweden we often say that women have to take place and come to power. Don't you think that women... No. You think women are more peaceful? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm not very con convenient with him. Okay, but he's feeling me. I think he's, he's okay. operating in his ear. <laughs> <laughs> they shouldn't evaluate children, they shouldn't teach children which toys to play with. Yeah. Uh, they should yeah. basically leave Let children Let them be themselves. Families. We have good politicians, some, some really. Det var inte en fri bloggare. Du talar svenska utmärkt också. Ja, jag är svensk, jag sa det. Men du är inte en fri bloggare. Vad är det? Ja, jag har hört att du kommer från en rysk tidning. Jag kommer inte därifrån. Nej, de filmar, men jag kommer inte därifrån. Ja. Så... Uh, she accused me of not being a free blogger, and I said, what, of course I'm a blogger and mathematician. She said, you come from Russia today. I said, I don't come from Russia today. The film team comes from Russia today. So uh, let's uh, ask her, what's the problem if Russia today gets her view on gender? Is that a problem? No. I mean, why shouldn't she talk about Swedish gender politics for Russia today? Is there something she wants to hide with it? Something maybe that she is not proud of? I don't know. Yeah, let's ask why she's not okay with that, yeah. So let me just ask you, uh, why is it... Yeah. yeah, I'm doing the trumpet, wow. yeah, gender glasses, yeah. You have to see this. Alexa, you have to come and see me wearing my gender glasses, yeah, see them from the beginning. They are quite stereotype, because as you can see, uh, they are hearts, and I don't think that the gender experts will like my gender glasses. Okay, so I bring them with me because in Sweden we all have to wear gender glasses. And what are gender glasses? Well, oops. The express, yeah, gender glasses is what you wear in order to discover power relations and in order to see. In pa power imbalances to discover them. Mm -hmm. So if I use my gender glasses and I try to read those reports with my gender <laughs> glasses on, which I have done in the video, and still I don't get it. Okay, so uh, one Swedish school, uh, uh, the biology teachers there cooperate with the local gender experts and they came to the conclusion that the, uh, the metaphor that the sperms are active and the eggs are passive in the reproduction process reinforces gender roles. 
No, stop it so he can see, listen to it too, because this is my comment. I see what you think about it. It's a little bit crazy, but still it's me. It's like things that I write on my blog. These things are highlighted in the newspapers as good examples. Good examples. So I quote from the interview. We want to get away from metaphors that the sperms are active and the eggs are passive in the reproduction process or that men's and women's, me, women's genitals are described as complementary, uh, end quote. So uh, I still don't understand this and I encourage you to equip your children with some scientific device. Now in the next video you will see my comment on this. I have an idea using my gender glasses and the gender trumpet of how to solve this question with the sperms being active. So I suggest that we drug the sperms so they get passive too. And that's of course one solution. So the eggs will be passive and the sperms will be passive and everybody will be equal. Uh, of course, uh, the civilization will die out and we will all uh, uh, be extinct in, uh, in some, some years. But probably that doesn't bother the gender experts because the ideology and the gender awareness is more important than us uh, surviving as a civilization. Actually, we have to go be political and get into parliament to change these laws. How would you name it? <laughs> yeah, common sense, the party of common sense. Common sense. That's what's common needed sense in a common yeah. sense party. That's what's yeah. needed in this country. It's not filming. Oh, um, now I'm going to buy some uh, food for my cats. And I will take this thing. And we start shopping cat food. <laughs> and here, let me show you what my cats want. They want everything, of course. And they have to have it. She's gonna shoot me. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay, so then you want to be helpful and you put it so that the code on the right side. So, now everything's perfect. Jag tarmar, och tarmar älskar mig. Rumpan, jag håller med. Tarmar är fantastiska. Fantastico, Mr. Rico! Jaha, men vad gör de? Här, guys, ät ett äpple. Om du äter ett äpple så åker du ner genom matstrupen till magsäcken och sen ner i... Tarmarna! Okay, anytime. Nice to meet you anyway. Nice to be here. And I am Kaisa, and I work almost all my life with gender issues. For the first, uh, I started here 1998. In Sweden, you can uh, even get a PhD by pointing out that boys and girls play in different manners and uh, suggesting solutions to this problem because this preschool in Sweden has a legal responsibility uh, for these questions about the equality in preschool. But put these glasses on to check how you treat the children, how you address them. And you know, when I show this, you can see it's red and blue. Mm -hmm. You know why? No. Oh, I tell you, the blue is supposed to be boy size and this is girl side. Mm -hmm. Try to not uh, handle a child uh, 
from which sex she got. And I changed. <laughs> so the next time I said, oh, I have yellow. It's positive glasses. Mm -hmm. Use them. And then somebody <laughs> say, oh, yellow. Are we supposed to be some kind of between men and women after this? That is not easy, because you, your brain is filled up with uh, fördomar. Prejudices. Oh, that's what it's called. In one preschool that we can read about in a Swedish uh, public report on uh, equality in preschool, uh, which you probably haven't read, but I have, so I tell you that in this preschool they um, decided to uh, stop the boys in the doorway when going out so that they couldn't rush out on the yard before the girls. So we are so filled up in our brains, so it's not easy to change for us. But we are working with children and we are working to a new future and we are uh, working to a new society, so we have to change <coughs> our mind. I can't do what I did, what my mother did to me or what I was when I was young. It's a new life now. We have to follow the life in the history. Yeah, here is my cat. He wants to be part of this video. Obviously, he likes being filmed. <laughs> and then this person starts to cry. Wah, wah. Wow! You have a temper. You want to fly. Cool. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna run. You're gonna play football. You're gonna be hard one. Dip, dip, dip. <laughs> and you just throw him. Oh, I said him again. Sorry. <laughs> I know it is him, but what do you what do you think it is? Then he go home to fetch more cool stuff to be like that, he tried to be it. Because children, they want to be what the adults, what the teachers expect from them. From my point of view, is to give every child all opportunities. Like Smörgåsbord, we say in Sweden, you have a lot of food and then you can choose what you like from it. You can love the same sex or the different sex. Uh, you can love animals, you can love no one. Or you can love in distance. You mm -hmm. live in different countries. You can love just yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's for me. <laughs> now I'm having. Uh, a break from the madness, so I think you should go away and uh, let my brain uh, just rest from the madness and I'll go back to you later maybe with more gender madness if you are ready to hear it. So goodbye! He's just being happy. He's just being happy all the time. He never complains about anything. He's always happy and satisfied with his life. Tommy, now you took it from her. <sighs> Maybe I should put him on the shelf because he is taking this. So now I'm doing this gender aware thing and put him up here <laughs> so that he can take her toy. Oh, Tommy, give it to me. Now he took it from me. So I'm doing this gender aware thing with my cats so that he, so I can play with my female cats. But obviously he likes all the toys. Uh, and now he's <laughs> stealing it from me. Sejinka, watch this. Sejinka. He jumped off the shelf now. I probably need a gender expert here. <laughs> <laughs> Stress. Head of banana potatoes. Are we walking or are we walking to the Can we move it in the middle or how? No, no, no. It's everything is fine. Just go, talk, everything works. Okay. Now. Come on, now we go. But this is the wrong uh, direction. <laughs> we can go there. We go this direction now. Be quiet. Be quiet. <laughs> I 
I have tried all the everything in this playground. Okay. Because I used to take my child here many years ago. Not many, but some years ago. So. She's moving. <laughs> <laughs> so this is really I'm going to do it now is to look for gender coded toys because I am not an expert and I have no gender education to know how to decode gender coded toys as they do with some Swedish preschools as I told you. This snake may be a gender aware thing for a girl because I think it's maybe associated with boys, I don't know. Uh, she likes it. Here we have a frog. So the point is always when you look at these things, it is in good. It's good in one way, and maybe not good in another way. I so think it's perfect with a car. So people you... think a girl car has to be pink, but this is a car. Yeah. But if there's only one car, it, I yeah. understand you. If there were two cars and one was pink and one was blue, yeah. then it's already decided somehow. Yeah. But now it's only one car, so we can't say that this is gender coded. Now it's gender coded by us because we're women. And uh, I don't know about the other things. This is obviously something for girls, I think, but you never know. You have to ask the ones who produce the toys. I think this is really small children. Uh -huh. You can just watch, watch pictures here. It looks like a uh, oh, men's yeah. rumble. Yeah, but it is not. Single. <laughs> they don't point. look like that. <laughs> and if you get enough brainwash, you get this gender radar inside your head, <laughs> and then you see all these equality things, inequality things, all over the place, exactly as you did. There are people who act on that level and actually see inequalities in everything. <laughs> and they see structures in a cup of coffee, and they see gender relations and power relations everywhere, uh, because they are so focused in looking for them. What you are trained to look for, you will find. Now I see that uh, this is a women symbol. <laughs> What's happening with the focus? Well, something happened with the camera. No, 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 it's okay. So, I do like this. I will take a photo and send it to the Department of Gender Science and ask them uh, to make an intersectional analysis of this pile of toys. Hi, dude. Hi. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, okay, okay. These okay. are the guys from the school, and okay. I'm asking them if they have gender disorder. So you speak English? Yeah. yeah. Oh, great. That's fantastic. Oh, we help each other. Right. Yeah. So you have anything about gender education in school? Yeah, we have. Uh, yeah, oh. we have uh, in uh, uh, Swedish and in uh, social sciences. Yes. We learn about it a lot. Yeah. Uh, about gender equality and how it has uh, improved over the last years. Yeah. Yeah, it is improving. You're right. Yeah. And also. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we learned that it's very unequal in uh, some countries. Yeah. And in uh, Sweden it's uh, really good. Compared to... Compa you, you think it's good also, or...? Yeah, I, I think it's good. Yeah? yeah? Or at least it's much better than in uh, most countries. Yeah. Uh, especially some uh, African countries and Arabic countries. Yeah. In many ways. So in one way it's like a miracle here in Sweden. We have what we have. Yeah. <laughs> gender equality, what does it mean for you, really? Uh, gender equality, it's... Um, women making uh, the same wage as men. Yeah. Maybe, and uh, having the same rights as men. Or the same uh, chances improve their situation and in their work life and make a career. I, I think the problem yeah. in Sweden is that all differences uh, have to be a problem or we have to discuss, but then society isn't interesting. <laughs> so, as you said, there were small disputes, people argue about things. That's a way of life. How should we otherwise live? Should the gender scientists take out when we are born from <laughs> the hospital, put us in the gender neutral box with nothing in it so we can't be gender coded, no impressions, <laughs> nothing? That's what they want to do. You have gender discussions in school, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. But when I was in school, we not, I never heard of the word gender at all. So uh, I it's understand. Yeah, we don't have that much yet no. discussion. In yes, school. but you still okay. But you still have it. You are but aware. You talk about. Some. I heard your answers. You 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 yes. know what to say. You can speak about it. I, yeah, I don't understand. Me and my brother, we were as I told you, we were just playing. We were just living our lives. 
and I didn't think about these things until I started reading Swedish newspaper. My parents got divorced when I was seven, and then I didn't see my father for 13 years. I didn't see him, but then I met my father when I was 20, studying physics, and then we came so close, and we met every day drinking coffee, and I was studying, and then I looked how like we are. We were so similar, working with technical device. I love that, too. And before they divorced, when I was seven, we, he took a lot of uh, device from the physics department, and me and my brother were doing these uh, micro chip cards, mm -hmm. so uh, I understood where my genes for this technical interest <laughs> also came mm -hmm. from there. So we were so alike, and many also when it comes to, well, the way we think, and uh, so. I completely missed that you have a brother. Mm -hmm. and, uh, He's one year younger. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I finished my PhD one month before him, so I won the competition. <laughs> <laughs> you are already becoming brainwashed. Yeah, because it's a gender <laughs> desert. <laughs> I just made a six desert. Give me it back, please. When do you have two and I don't have anything? <laughs> uh, we we okay. should make them equal. <laughs> <laughs> No. This is equality. Yeah, I think it's some kind of weird Swedish equality. <laughs> So now I'm eating some candy and waiting for my train to arrive. In four minutes it will arrive. And uh, what time is it? Eight o'clock? I have to have control of everything because I'm a control freak. So, oh, my plan is to film him back so that he can feel <laughs> how it feels. Now, how do you feel being harassed with a camera in your face? <laughs> now, there are cameras everywhere anyway, so it doesn't matter. Somebody is watching you all the time. <laughs> So now I sit the way I usually do, oh, like really this. Yeah. This is really comfortable. But it's not, it's is it not well behaved? Yeah, I'm fine with sitting like this if, if there is room for everybody. But for me, it's okay to sit like this. Because I'm a PhD, so it compensates for me behaving a little bit crazy. Or sitting like this. <laughs> I'm an uh, experienced, experienced person, <laughs> so I can become the prime minister, no problem, if that's your question. Uh, my gray hair uh, is the proof of my life experience and that I survived all the Swedish madness, and by doing that, so I'm a good candidate. Yeah, you should vote for me. This is the Swedish constitution written here. First of all, I have to study that if I'm to become a prime minister. But uh, I don't think our prime minister knows the constitution. Everybody has the right to work, to free choice of occupation, to justice and to, well, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's the basic human rights, to write the human rights. Here we have it. My human rights to go home and go to sleep because it's late. also empty Sunday evening so nobody is outside almost nobody not so empty here are the cameras you're talking about they spy on us and we spy on them so now I record them and they can record me and we are equal <laughs> equality <laughs> equality in watching each other's behavior 
Oh, it's raining. I have to put away the camera. The gender trumpet symbolizes <laughs> the gender madness in Swedish academia because I found this um, project which was financed with 70,000 euro to investigate the trumpet from a gender perspective. And then we can think about all the remaining instruments we have, like the drums and so on, that haven't been investigated yet from a gender perspective. So we have so much research to do and we have so so much taxpayers' money that we need for these important questions. And uh, I, I'm not sure that uh, the Swedish population will uh, support to finance such projects, but probably the government will.